Reds and Brewers opening the season in Cincinnati before the game. The Reds honoring the late Sparky Anderson. Edison Volk has the start for Cincinnati, and things were ugly right out of the gates. Ricky Weeks becomes the first Brewer to lead off the season with a home run. It is 1-0 Milwaukee just like that. But wait, there's more. Carlos Gomez, the next man at the dish, not known for his power. Get out of town and do it fast. 2-0 after just two batters. In fact, they put up three in that first frame. We'll jump to the bottom of the fourth. It's now 4-1. to one. Giovanni Gallardo, trouble with Drew Stubbs to the opposite field, just over the fence, and the Reds are now within 4-2. to two. Pete Rose in the house, enjoying the fun, rooting on his Reds. We'll jump to the bottom of the seventh. Joey Votto, who before the game received his 2010 NL MVP, he's trying to bring the Reds closer. Now on the air to right field, and Joey Votto will touch them all. It was 6-2 before the blast. Make that 6-3. Same score. Into the ninth we go. Two on, nobody out. Scott Rowland facing John Axford. And here's a very controversial play. Casey McGee thinks he tags Brandon Phillips. Instead, he's called safe. And as we look, very difficult to see on the replay. But Phillips avoids the tag, so everybody's safe. Now it's 6-4. Ramon Hernandez a chance to win it. In the air, down the right field line, doesn't have a chance. The Reds have won on a three-run home run on opening day by Ramon Hernandez. Oh, brother, 2010 revisited on opening day. Seven to six is the final. It's a walk-off winner. Logan Andrusik, the victory for Cincinnati. Volk has six innings, seven hits. He allowed five earned runs. He struck out five, but Hernandez, the star of the day. Four hits, of course, the big one to end it. Three other Reds had two hits apiece.